Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name is Prathamesh Jadav. I am from Java 27 batch and uh, so I am going to repeat explain the concepts of like oops. So everyone is going with oops. Again same I am going with oops and people I know you are getting somewhat bored oops 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 but it's <laughs> which but it's really needed because I we know the what is the oops and all but at the time of explaining we are going to forget. So everyone is going with PPT. I don't have any PPT and all. So I'm just using the uh, I mean markers and taking the help of board. So what is oops? So uh, if I ask you oops, what is oops? Oops is object oriented programming structure. That's it. So after that, what we are going to explain? Nothing. Nothing. So blank. So we know only theory definitions like object oriented programming structure, but basically oops means it has to support some features. We know only like uh, two features, abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance, encapsulation, that's it. Again, we how to explain like in depth, like uh, it's uh, oops means the language is said oops, like if it support class, you have to explain class, you have to study about class, object, and the common things we know like abstraction, abstraction, encapsulation. So if the language is supporting these four to six features, now then we should we we can say like the it's a oops concept or it's a oops programming language. So what is class? Basically, we are uh, we are creating class for some functionality. So a class has a fields, attributes, and some methods. So in oops concept, we are creating class like simple class like student if we take in class student here some um, fields we are declaring private integer id stud id private string name student name student name so this is the basic class we are declaring class as a say a student this is the class name, this is the modi uh, mod uh, modifier means, I mean keyword which is supporting uh, by Java. This is also access modifiers, we have different types of access modifiers, uh, access modifiers like public, private, protected and default. So we are using private so we can achieve encapsulation, data hiding or data safety like we are going to cover in um, encapsulation and abstraction so that's why we are using private. So this is the student ID and student the name. And if we declare any class as a final, then creating the child uh, child of that class is not possible. So while we are like extending the child class is not possible. Suppose if I wrote like uh, as a final. So extending this class is not possible. So this is the one concept. And uh, after that, uh, after that object. So. I mean, you got it the idea about class? Can you explain me? Can you give me some two, three points on class? So, so class means it has to be like uh, some um, data members, fields, attributes, and that's it. After object, object means is an instance of a class. Object, when we are creating object, actually, I want to ask the one question, when the memory is going to allocate? Huh? When we created object, it's a heap on or a where a stack? Heap. So yeah, you know all the guys. So when we are creating object, when we are creating object, we are getting like uh, we are allocating the memory. At the same time, there is one one more is action is happening at the object creation. You know what's happening at the object creation? Constructor calling. So if we are creating, suppose this is class student. This is class test. Public static void main string array arcs. <coughs> so I want to create object of this class now. So <coughs> so stood s is equal to new stood. So this is the uh, I mean we are creating object on this line. After creation or object, here the memory is going to allocate. Suppose if I passes the values like student ID and student name like 101, it is integer time uh, type, name is like Prathamis. So here we are allocating the memory and at the same line we are going to call the constructor. So we have to declare constructor. 
So constructor has any return type or not? Guys, constructor have any return type or not? Constructor is a special method. You can say it doesn't have any uh, return type and all, but it's same should be like class name. So again, how many types we have constructors? How many types we have of constructors? We have like three types of constructors. One is default constructor. If we doesn't mention any constructor in our code or program, by default JVM is calling the default constructor. It's not visible. It's not visible. There is one command if you want to uh, show the default constructor. So parameterize. Second is parameterize and non-parameterize. So we are passing the parameterize from this line. So we have to declare parameterize constructor. Same thing we have to mention data types and all. Like we are passing first uh, integer type of ID and string type of you can say name. <clears throat> so again we have to set the value like this dot this for current. For current class why we are using this? For current class we are using we are setting the values that's why we have to use this dot we have to access this student ID. So this dot student ID student id is equal to what id we are passing this id we have to mention here id same for name like we are passing name so this is the constructor and yeah we are created the object and uh, while creating object we are passing two values and we are setting that value this is called object now the term is like abstraction. Abstractions means we know only hiding the data, internal implementation and all. So the real example is like uh, you can take the ATM machines example. So we are just going with GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. Graphical user interface. If you, uh, if you went out to ATM machine, we are going to uh, see only set of services. So set of services like we have many services like withdrawal. Uh, mini statement, statement, check balance, deposit or uh, yeah, deposit like that. So set of services means that the four services which is the ATM is providing but internal implementation we are not able to see what is the internal implementation. So this is called abstraction. So while we are uh, uh, using abstraction we can uh, achieve the data hiding and data safety also and the uh, uh, advantages is like we have reu reusability, flexibility, anywhere we can uh, go, uh, whatever we want, you can use. So without, and one more thing, if the, suppose bank users, I mean bank, uh, bank managers and bank team authority wants to change any GUI or interface, so without affecting third user, like we are the customer, without affecting the customer, we can change that implementation. And again, we can go with the set of services, whatever they are showing or whatever the services they are providing encapsulation means encapsulation means like um, encapsulate the data data means like we have data members like private in student id private string student name so like that and if suppose if you have any method if you are doing like the sum or if you want to print this data so again you have to declare one method public static void method name Again, it's, if it is taking any parameter, you have to go with parameter. Otherwise, simply we have to go with SYSO system.out.println. So, binding the data, I mean, binding the data variables and related the methods which is associated with the data members. So, we are binding in a same class. So, that is called encapsulation. Again, en encapsulation is providing, like encapsulation means data hiding and abstraction both are providing same which same advantages of like uh, abstractions we have data hiding security and reusability so inheritance Inher after that in we have inheritance inheritance means a class is accessing another class properties like parent child relationship you may say parent child relationship like suppose if we have class a Class A, class A have some method like public void.
So this is for inheritance is a simple level inheritance. We have four to five types of inheritance. Suppose class A is a derived class, uh, sorry, base class, and again class B is a derived class. Extends A. So we are taking the class A, the like class A have the method like public void M1. So if you want to use that method in class B, it's uh, like you may say we are using reusability. So with the help of class B, we can access both methods. Thank you.